what's up everybody welcome to my channel it's the friendly grower if you don't already know um, I was just doing a little uh, co2 homemade co2 generator and figured that I would throw this into my DIY album um, I'm sure somebody out there will be interested in it and it probably will be beneficial to some level a lot of people will see that uh, having a co2 system in a grow tent is useless um, co2 is only for sealed grow rooms and all that kind of stuff and they're not wrong, but they're not right at the same time. I'm not going to go out and get a CO2 injection system for my, my grow tent. It just doesn't make system. It's in a room that's that's not sealed. It, it, it would be a waste. I mean, like, I'd be wasting a lot of it, but at the same time, the plants would still be benefiting to some level. So the kind of happy medium that I've found is either a CO2 grow bag, um, one of the ones you can buy online. I don't like to buy those because... I just figure, like, you know, I'm not really super uptight about how much CO2 they're getting as long as they're getting something. So I went with the, the homemade CO2 generator. It, it's super simple. I'm going to switch this around. Um, it's super, super simple. It, literally just uh, two two liter bottles. I glued them together in the center. Um, I zip tie them together just because my last one broke. I figured maybe this way I'll get a little bit longer out of it. Um, you run a hose from the top of one into the bottom of the other one, and then a hose at the top. So basically I have my mixing chamber, in here I have two cups of sugar, one tablespoon of dry activated yeast, and uh, warm water. And this side, this is like my gas chamber, it's uh, just warm water, so what happens is the yeast eats the sugar in this one, creates CO2, builds up in here, travels through the black line, and every once in a while you'll see a little bubble travel up. Once there's pressure in this area up here, it will begin to travel out the, the top. I have this just so I know that it's bubbling still, in case I don't see one down here. And uh, it just comes popping out the, the hose into the tent. It's not very much CO2, but ever since I've uh, thrown one into the, the tent, they seem to like it. And uh, for the cost, it's next to nothing. A bag of white sugar and some yeast and some leftover bottles of pop. I mean, most of us are stuck at home with the Rona crap going on, so we got free time. Um, I love DIY stuff. It's just, you know, something to do and something to learn. But, uh, I'll have a recipe in the in the description of this video. It's super simple. Again, two cups white sugar, one tablespoon dry yeast, fill with warm water, and then uh, you're pretty well good to go. I mean, you could probably get away with not even having the second chamber, but the only problem with that is this does fill up with like a foamy, bubbly reaction, I guess I'll call it, and. Um, with the one bottle you do have more chance of it making a mess and you don't necessarily know if it's still working because you can't see a bubble happening anywhere that little bubble is basically what tells you uh, it's still reacting um, I just want to remind everybody that CO2 can be harmful to us so you know just be cautious this would never do anything that would cause you or your animals any harm or anything like that neither would a grow bag um, the CO2 grow bags, um, but yeah, plants breathe CO2 and exhale oxygen basically, and uh, the more we can get into like a grow tent, the more they're going to be happy, and again, I know that the ventilation system sucking it out and it's not in a sealed room, but from when I didn't have this to when I do have this, there is a noticeable difference in overall plant production, not just the, the buds, but like the plant itself grows a little more vigorously and um, it ends up having more volume, which more volume can hold more buds and that's why we do it all. So uh, hopefully this was useful and uh, if anybody has any questions or anything, you know, wants to see something else covered, let me know. I'm always interested in learning and trying new things. So uh, thanks for watching and subscribe share like all that stuff join us in our uh, facebook group the friendly grower club um i think that's it catch you on the next video peace out